All right, we're a few short days away from one of the greatest astronomical events in nearly 100 years, a total eclipse of the sun. Excitement has been building as we count down to Monday afternoon. And Chief Meteorologist Matt Rudkin is here with us because I know you're excited about oh, this. So yeah. many people are counting down to it because it's so rare. Yeah, the last time the U.S. experienced a solar eclipse of this magnitude, 100 years ago. You know, everybody is buzzing about this once-in-a-lifetime event where the skies go dark at midday as the moon makes its way between the sky and the earth. On Monday, millions of people will witness something that hasn't happened in nearly a century. It's pretty rare to get a total eclipse of the sun in the continental United States. A total solar eclipse will occur coast to coast, moving from Oregon to South Carolina. While Michigan won't experience a total solar eclipse, just under 90% of the sun's light will be blocked on Monday afternoon. <laughs> Dr. Peter Garnovich is the chair of the physics department at Notre Dame. He describes the upcoming solar eclipse as a perfect dance between the sun, moon, and earth. So it's going to be a, a really uh, deep eclipse, if you will. An eclipse occurs when the moon passes directly between the earth and the sun, causing the moon's shadow to be cast onto the earth. The path of totality is a narrow band only about 70 miles wide where 100% of the sun's light is fully blocked for two minutes. Even though we are not in the path of totality, don't underestimate the significance of what you'll see. It's going to be 90% of the sun will be blocked uh, uh, by the moon, and so it'll get dark, it might even get a little cool, and, uh, and then the, there'll be just this crescent sun that you'll see for, uh, for about a half an hour. As the skies darken, you may also notice nature responding. I remember when uh, when it got to maximum, uh, the birds started singing like it was evening, and, and people actually were looking for sweaters. Dr. Garnovich and his students have been preparing for this event for months. They'll utilize the 1890-era telescope on top of Newland Science Hall. The Earth, the Sun, and the Moon are all moving all the time, and it kind of makes for a really complicated, interesting dance. Keith Davis teaches education programs at the Planetarium at Notre Dame. Partial eclipses are really cool. Total eclipses change your life. He's traveling to the path of totality, but says it's not just about looking up at the sun, but to take in the entire environmental event. One of the things that's really interesting is that every little hole between leaves or if you want to hold up a colander or something that has a bunch of holes in it, every one of those holes is a pinhole camera and will project an image of the eclipse onto the ground. So look at the shadows because they're going to be dramatic and interesting. While the eclipse will be something you and your kids will remember for years to come, it's extremely important to remember that it can cause permanent damage to your eyes if you don't plan ahead. The only reason the eclipse is dangerous is because you want to look at it, right? Like you normally can't look at the sun safely, but it's so bright that it hurts your eyes and keeps you from looking. However, once you take that brightness down to 10% of what it usually is, it's still bright enough to damage your eyes, but it doesn't feel as painful. And so you're more likely to look. Well, big thanks to WSBT 22 photographer Joe Euphamy for a great story there. So these are the glasses everybody's looking for. You should see the amount of questions I'm getting. Where can I get I'm these? I'm sure. Good luck. Uh, you, you may be able to find them. But there's other ways you could do this. First off, uh, see the cereal box? This is what we call a pinhole projector. And later tonight on Facebook and Twitter, I'll show you how to make one of these. Regular old cereal box. You cut in two, uh, two holes here. You put in some aluminum foil and it really close there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's just a little hole. Uh, a, a little hole in there and basically what you do and you can zoom out here a little bit uh, you just you put the sun behind you and you look through one of these and yeah. that little hole will project the sun's image in the cereal box so you'll be able to see it uh, other objects these are really fancy uh, this is the states you know that are one of our engineers cool. brian cook made but basically there's a little hole in these things and all you do that the sun behind you, you you just put the hole down to the ground and you'll be able to see the image uh, of the sun and and what's really neat around here if you can't make it to the path of totality 85% of the light will be covered. Don't just look up all day. Look around. Uh, any leaves on trees that have holes in them will project the eclipse down to the, the ground. Shape. It's going to be really, really neat. So make sure you take some time Monday afternoon. 2.22 is when it, uh, it's at its max. This couldn't take you that long to make this either. No, I, mean, I, be, I bet it takes uh, 90 seconds. It's real easy. And, and this it's fun hole, with the kids. This hole is just the size of the end of this it's pen. It's a little tack tack. hole. Yep, so that's yeah. all you do. And just regular old cereal box. So Facebook and Twitter later tonight, I'll, I'll, you'll walk I'll do a quick. You'll walk you through it. It's easy. And it's fun with the kids, which Very is even cool. more fun.